touch with you, it was a long time ago, but where were you when Matt Richards hit that volley at Cambridge and what kind of a view did you have? Uh, I think I was right behind it. Uh, good strike. Uh, I think he scored a similar one against Swindon as well. So, But yeah, it was a good finish. Hopefully you can do that tomorrow. It's, it must seem a long time ago, that game, given the, the change in personnel, you know, number, number of managers, and it's been a roller coaster since. Yeah, very, very long time ago, it seems. Uh, you know, like you said, there's a different different players on the pitch and different coaching, well, similar coaching staff, but obviously a different manager. Um, yeah, it seems a, a long while ago, but we have to look to, to do similar things we did that game, because obviously we did something right, because we won the game, so we have to set into tomorrow. Cambridge, probably, if not quite on the beach, they're certainly in the comfort zone, you were suggested, in, in, in mid-table. Does that make them a, perhaps a, a side that you think you can beat rather more than a side at the top or the bottom? Uh, we have to think we could beat everyone at this stage of the season because it's, it's vital. But um, I don't know how they're thinking, what their thought processes are. Um, but we just have to worry about ourselves and go well, go to one road tomorrow and, and pick up three points. In terms of, of the defence, I mean, the... Successful teams have consistent selection. At the back of the season, you've played a four, a five, different partners for you. Uh, liable to be potentially different again on, on, on Tuesday night because we've had the situation with Will Packwood's injury. Jack's come in uh, and he's found it hard, or certainly from the side of it, he's found it hard. Um, yeah, uh, you know. It's part and parcel of the game, change, uh, changes and stuff like that, so it's how you adapt to it. Um, like you said, we have uh, different shapes and I personally have different partners and people to play with, uh, but it's, it's how you adapt and it's still 11 v 11 on the field and you have to go out there and, and be better than your opponent. And uh, here's an old phrase that a manager once said to me, eight players can carry three but three can't carry eight and, and in a sense you need at least eight players to be seven out of ten or better, don't you, now for the last four matches? Yeah, uh, you're only as strong as your weakest link, really. Um, I think that, that, that applies around the pitch, and like you said, you need everyone to be seven, eight out of ten to, for us to pick up serious, crucial points and, and kick on. When Darrell's goal went in on, on Saturday, did you think that that might be a turning point in the season? Because against the side towards the top, hadn't had an awful lot of joy in front of goal, suddenly he slams one in from the edge of the, edge of the area, that sometimes can just kick-start teams, can't it? Yeah, um, it was very disappointing to concede so soon after. Um, <clears throat> I think everyone was surprised that Darrell scored in the first place, but um, when that did go in, it was, it was a good vibe for well, a short period of time, but, which was disappointing. But um, We have to look to tomorrow night and hopefully we can score more than one and, and win the game. Uh, and that perhaps has been the, the core of the problem all season, isn't it? Is, is if, you, if you've got one, often it hasn't been enough. Yeah, it's, that's been disappointing. I feel, you know, we've been in recently as well. We've been in good, good positions where we've been in the lead. What's well, been happening for quite a while? Where we've been in the lead and haven't won the game. However, there's been times where we haven't found the net and haven't worked their keeper, which has been very disappointing uh, to see. But that's stuff that we're working on outside, and hopefully tomorrow we can finally put that to action. Gary was saying that the key point is the first win. Never mind saying how many you might need. If you get the first one, it's a question of what happens after that, but it, it is getting that, that initial reaction, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, that winning feeling, that winning mentality, um, it's, it's not easy to find, but once you've got it, it's, it's a good feeling, and that's what we have to do. We have to you know, win the game tomorrow, tomorrow night, and obviously from then, we'll, we'll pick, automatically pick up confidence and hopefully kick on and pick up the points that we, we need. Is Gary almost having to be a psychologist to try and get you to, to the point where you remember what it was like to win and, and go through that emotion again? Um, I'm not so sure about psychologists, but he is, you know, he's he, he, we're having lots of talks and, not debates, but lots of talks about how things are going and how we're feeling and stuff like that, which is good because things can uh, come out in the open and everyone can be honest with each other and maybe that hasn't happened all season where people have been honest. Um, but it's good that that he sat us down and had a word of us and, and some things can get out and up in the air. He made the point after the Wickham game that Cambridge tend to play quite long ball, quite direct. Are you expecting that? Yeah, uh, from what I remember at their place as well. Uh, they were fairly direct and obviously we've been fortunate enough to see him on the telly a couple of times this season. Uh, I think they, they had a heavy defeat earlier on and obviously against Manchester United. But they they will go direct, which is not too dissimilar to what we've had recently with York and Stevens, so hopefully we're, we're well equipped to do that.